Hello, darlings. What are you doing tonight? Tuesday night. It is not a nice time, and I am so glad that if you've joined me, you've joined me. And I am going to make some weird stuff tonight. So, I don't know if you've ever heard of a cauliflower cake. It's not exactly a birthday cake. What is up? Sweet Tea is in the house. And it is Sweet Tea's birthday this week. And so, we need to do something ultra special for him. Yes. What? I don't know. we got to come up with something. So, Sweet Tea, maybe we're going to make some Sweet Tea. Yeah, that's the ticket. No, I don't know. We gotta come up with something. I know your favorite cake is cheesecake, right? So maybe we'll do like a special cheesecake Thursday. I don't know. Think about it. Think about what you would like us to do for you. It is your special day. We are going to make a special something for sweetie. Okay. And I assume you don't want a cauliflower cake for your birthday, even though I would make you a cauliflower cake. Although this cauliflower cake is going to be pretty doggone special, guys. I'm just going to tell you. So, interestingly enough, this recipe is a very weird recipe, but I'm trying to follow this recipe like exact, so I'm kind of weird. Um, and you're supposed to use a springform pan. I do not like springform pans, okay? I just, they're not my thing. So... I'm going to do it a little bit different way and see if it works and keep my fingers crossed and because I can't find the base. That's one of the things I hate about spring pan pans. I always lose the base. And um, plus, a lot of people use spring form pans for uh, cheesecakes, but you really don't need one for a cheesecake, as you guys know. So. Here's what I'm going to do. The recipe also requires a 10 inch pan. I'd rather do two six inches. Okay, that's my goal. Now, one of the things it says to do, are y'all paying attention? <laughs> are you laughing at me? Don't laugh. Oh, two? <laughs> two. Okay, two six inches, not this is, <laughs> okay, I know, I know, all right, all right, all right, all right, I'll stop being bad. Okay, guys, oh, I'm itching, y'all, mosquitoes, flies, it's not even June, it's ridiculous. All right, so I have had some florets of cauliflower simply boiling down, now they are quite lovely, so I'm going to at least pour them into a calendar. So let me do that for a moment. I've done it for a moment. Now what am I doing? I don't know. Now, I gotta prepare these pans. Oh, I realized something else I gotta do. Meatballs, yes! What have you been thinking about? Hummingbird cake, that's kind of random. Mongoose, welcome to the chat. Yes, we are making meatballs tonight, but we're also making a cauliflower cake, which probably doesn't sound as sexy as meatballs, but I promise it's twice as sexy. Uh, y'all, oh, here. Y'all, you have to be, listen, I need some grace tonight, man. I've been working. Today I had two events. I do need to saute down some onions, onions. So let me get going on that. And I am psyched, guys, because I have stuff from my garden. You know what? I'll show you something. Uh oh. Is this something that's getting deleted? I hoped. Chapter verse. Oh, the guy gospel. Oh, I see. Okay, Scott. Did you do that with um, the uh, the what do you call the? Yes. But I don't okay. Know what you meant to. Oh, interesting. Weird. That's Wait, cool. Oh, you still need grace. A bot? Oh, because I needed grace. 
Oh, thank you guys. Oh, is it? I don't know. I don't know how these bots work, but y'all are. Basically, it's when you type in a code, it gives you a oh, code and stuff. Like I that. see. It's it's a bot time that you gave me some grace. Did it? <laughs> okay, guys. So here's what I'm gonna do. I got a little gee. A little gigi, a little gigi, and I'm gonna put this little gigi in here. A little gigi. <laughs> what? People. I don't know about you people. All right, all right, all right, y'all. Y'all behave. Hello, behave, old people. I'm just going to put a little thing like that. No, I've got two. Speaking of ghee, I need to saute um, a little um, a little olive oil. I took my olive oil, put it in here. This is my good stuff. Ooh, I love this olive oil. <laughs> <laughs> like the can starting to come out. Well, I gotta show y'all a trick. I'm glad that's done. I'll tell you why. I'm gonna show y'all a trick. If your olive oil, if your olive oil like that ever gets into a a bind, you take this right here and you pop the sides. Have y'all ever done that? Watch, I'm praying pop something else. There we go. So you just do it like on the side, and then whoop, it's even more than I need. Okay, so. So I'm going to keep some of these rings and then I'm going to take some of these and just do those like that. So I got a little bit going on there and a little bit going on there. Now, I am going to, I have this wonderful idea. I'm going to take this, put this down in the pan like this. So I'm hoping this is going to come out. That's my idea. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, I got it. Okay. Very nice. Okay, and one more. Oh, push that up. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm actually thinking about. So I've got like a V there, but then I'm also thinking about doing one on the side. But it's gonna have to like crisscross like this. Y'all, this is my idea. So if it's a bad idea, I take credit for it. If it's a good idea, I'll take credit for that too. <laughs> Now, you're supposed to Ooh, She's being feisty. The onions are being feisty, y'all. I think they probably want a little salt and pepper. What do y'all think? All right, a little pepper for show us. A little pepper and some little salt, salt, y'all, y'all. Okay. Seriously? Uh oh. I love Billy Dill. Okay, now I'm going to do this one a little differently, too. You know what? I'm pulling this together, y'all. Thinking that this might go all the way around. Like this. What do y'all think? Push it forward. Then we 
close it off, but it's one little one. Perfect. And then for that inside, I'm gonna do foldy, foldy. Exactly perfect, but a little perfect. There we go. I'm going to put it in there. All right, now all those are prepared. Now, for the good stuff. So y'all are gonna see all these bizarre ingredients. I'm telling you, so I'm so excited. I have this garden going now. So I've got some Thai basil, some rosemary, some fresh basil. I got so much good stuff here tonight, you guys. And all that looks good. So, here's what I got to do. I got seven eggs. So let me get these. Look at these beautiful yard eggs. I don't know if y'all have noticed, but eggs have been outrageously expensive. Supposed to be the bird flu or something like that, which is raising the price, but... That's true, last week, it's supposed to be true. That's what they said on the uh, PBS, on the radio, PBS show or whatever, or BBC or whatever. Okay. I don't think I'm lying, why do you always look at me like I'm crazy? Why do people think I'm so crazy? Is it because I am? <laughs> All right, a little bit of salt, a little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys about the nigella seeds, what you do with them. So I have these wonderful nigella seeds. And what I was supposed to do, which actually I'll do it in a minute. Just don't let me forget. Uh, what the heck? I'm just going to use this because I don't know where my whisk is. It's Miss Whiskly. All right, that's the egg. Now, let me put the cauliflower. There's a lot of cauliflower. Put all that cauliflower in there, which seems so weird. And then I'm going to put rosemary, this fresh rosemary, fresh basil. Yum. And... I'm gonna save the rings, these onion rings, for the decor, but I'm gonna put these little sauteed other ones, I have the little diced ones in there. Get in there. Get in there, you naughty little boys. <laughs> I want them to be naughty little girls instead. Okay. All right, now. Now for the weird stuff. We have some rice flour. You can use all-purpose flour usually, but we're making this gluten-free. And I've got some baking powder I'm going to add to it. And a little bit of delicious Parmesan cheese. Put that in there. And I'm going to... And now what makes this recipe, in my opinion, a little on the weird side is you're also supposed to put turmeric, which turmeric seems like such a strange spice with rosemary and, uh, by the way, it's stuffing up. It's a bit humid around here these days. Turmeric has anti-inflammatory properties, which is so cool. Gosh, you guys, I may have to use my, my hand. Now, you're supposed to have to cook this thing for like 45 minutes, but I'm thinking since I did the smaller, like six inch one, it's going to cook faster. 
Oh, thanks for the birthday wishes. Everyone, sorry I got distracted with my first ambulance. First ambulance? What are you talking about, crazy boy? Mm. What do you guys think? Is that looking sexy or what? First ambulance tonight? Are you having to be dragged away again? This looks like potato salad or like egg salad. Looks freaky, y'all. Mm, that actually sounds really good. <laughs> okay, so the one thing I want to do before I put this in there that I forgot to do, you guys, is I was supposed to take this and just put it around the sides. And then what you do is you put the seeds like on the sides, so they stick to the sides. You put like um, the black seeds and the other seeds. This one definitely seems a lot easier, y'all. All right, Scout Boy. Definitely going to. So, I've got some regular white seeds. Let me see if I can get them on the side. And, so strange. If you're thinking this is strange, I think it's strange too. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. I'm going to find seeds in my nostrils later. <laughs> Are you been smoking some black seeds? <laughs> Don't be smoking. Don't go smoking my seeds. I wouldn't if I tried. Oh, my. These are like gunpowder, y'all. Oof. It's like powder. What the? Oof. Weird. Hang on just a second, because I want to show you all this is really weird. I want to show you something. Don't go breaking my phone. I wouldn't if I tried. Okay, so I have black sesame seeds here, but these are not like nigella seeds or whatever, but they just look different, you know? Let me see, like, isn't that kind of interesting? But, like, this is more like a powder. You see? Can you all see? Mm -hmm. Weird. Hmm? Well, we're going to go with it because it's supposed to be good for you. So, interesting question. I'm curious, you guys. I don't know if y'all know Nigella Lawson. She's like one of my favorite chefs. I wonder, like, where, what is the history of Nigella? I mean, I know Nigella means black. Like Nigeria, Ni anyway. So, I don't know. What's up with that? So what are the seeds? Nigella seeds. Oh, no. Oh, I see it. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Okay, well, at any rate. I'm telling you, this looks just like potato salad. It's chicken ass. Yeah, I think we could get more than just two. I can't, I can't help it. It looks too much like potato salad. I have to try some. Ooh, raw eggs. Mmm. Ooh, it's so good. Y'all. That is not what you would think, but it is good. Cauliflower cake, y'all. I don't think you should bring this to somebody's birthday party. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna do, because I'm obviously gonna have to make another one, is make two little small ones. Two little babies. Like, yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna put butter, butter icing. Well, I'm gonna see if this will come out. If I do it with this and then put a little of the, the seeds on it. This is like experimental cooking. So, Scout Life, sweet tea. You can either have next Tuesday's episode, I will cook whatever you want on the episode, or you can have just cake on Thursday. So you have to figure out which one you want. Doesn't matter to me. You just have to be, golly, you guys, this does look just like potato salad. I mean, not potato salad, egg salad. And it makes me want to eat some eggs. All right, so. This would definitely make for an interesting egg salad. Now, what I'm gonna do with these guys, these are kind of like for decoration. So I'm gonna put them on the top. Looks like a snake, doesn't it? little worm. I'm having to kind of put it back together, you guys. What y'all think, y'all? I'm trying not to eat it all, y'all. Okay, y'all, time to make shmeatballs. Hmm. All right, let me get these guys in the oven. No idea what they're gonna look like when they're done. Probably check the temperature because I actually didn't do that before. Where's my regular phone? I just want to check the temperature. I'll stick with cake, but not cauliflower cake. What are you saying, man? You saying you don't like my episode of cauliflower cake? What's wrong with you? Oop, 400. I need to go up a little bit. Who said I'm losing it? People, y'all be crazy. I ain't be losing. He said you lost it. Losing it. Been gone. Yo, we've been gone. <laughs> It's like, hello, where have you been? Okay, time to switch to these Thai meatballs. You can have Thai meatballs without... Well, 
Here we go. All right, turkey. Here we go, everyone. In many ways, turkey's gross, but it's gonna be delicious tonight. I'm gonna put a little, this is gonna be pretty meatballs too, right? So I put a little bit of um, red bell pepper, orange bell pepper, and I didn't have time, I was kind of in a hurry, um, but I wanna put a little garlic, and I'm gonna put a little bit of that red onion, but not a lot. So I'm just gonna take like a handful, and I, but I wanna chop it smaller. Because when you're doing it for meatballs, you don't want to like have a big old piece of onion in your meatball. And you can put the, this all in raw because it'll cook. So I'm just gonna dice this red onion up just a little smaller than what it was. And then I'm gonna put it in the Okay, now, for the binder tonight, I'm going to use yeast, uh, what's it, what kind of, what's that yeast stuff called that I always use? Nutritional yeast? Yeah, nutritional yeast. You know that stuff's good for you? I heard it's nutritional. It's nutritional, get it? Right. <laughs> it's not like the naughty yeast. <laughs> you know the time you get that, and yes, <laughs> yes. The naughty yeast. The kind from your bad bacteria. <laughs> Some people give you bad bacteria when you go to their house and they give you bad fried food. Make sure your gut hurt. Mm -hmm. Unless you come to my house. Because I get all good stuff here. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'm getting there, y'all. You're gonna put a little bit, three, three, three cloves of garlic. How about that? Now, I have an opinion tonight. And, oh, I mean, not an opinion. I want to ask for an opinion tonight. I have been debating all day. Well, do I want to use the green curry paste or the red curry paste for my meatballs? I need a vote. Go, give me your vote. And I didn't say a vote, but I would take that instead of the vote if you have a vote. What's the taste difference? Okay. <laughs> one is green chilies and one is red chilies. The, the green's a little milder. I am being summoned by the oven. Green, red. Hmm. Here, I tell you what, let's take a whiff. Ugh. Just kidding. <laughs> so that's the green. Actually, the green smells a lot like lemongrass. Hmm. I think the, the red seems like it's got a little tomato. Let's go with the green. That's what I was thinking too. It's a little more tie -y. So we're gonna go with the green. There we go. All right. Now, going to put an egg in here. I've already got garlic. And then I'm gonna put a little of this ginger paste. You guys remember last year when I bought that really good ginger paste? Well, guess what? I don't know where they, I think I've used it all. Yeah. So I got the ginger paste. I think I may have put a little bit too much ginger paste. I'm going to take a little tiny bit out. I may have gotten a little too carried away with the ginger. Because you know the ginger is kind of spicy. It's spicy. Oh. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Okay. Push up. A little soy. Put an egg. Now, what am I missing? Uh, a little salt and pepper. Always had to put salt and pepper in stuff. 
The one thing you don't want to forget is the salt and pepper. Okay. And I think Yara Masala would be good. What do y'all think? The only... Do you like the way I think? The only thing is, where is my Yara Masala? I think it may be in the shop. But you know what? Before you go, hold on. I may have a, a little thing of it, too. But... I do. So you don't have to go. I, also, I bought a big thing of bulk. Bought it in bulk. Because y'all know I love me some caramel masala. And I love me some cayenne. Give me a little kick. Give me a little kick, girls and boys. I sure like it when it's hot in here. Put just a little bit of cayenne. Is that cayenne? No, that's all spice. Crap. Here's cayenne. <laughs> Sorry. Oops. Just a splash. Just a splash. Just a wee bit. Right now, what did she do with the yeast? Here's the yeast. Definitely try to spill in a little bit of the yeast whenever you can. So lots and lots of vitamin B. Right then, so I'm going to use my fingers. That's my favorite. <laughs> you know, it's so weird. Somebody told me I had a personality today. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> I think you can pick one. <laughs> hmm. I'm still feeling, it's feeling a little juicy. I'm thinking maybe I'm going to add a little bit of that uh, rice flour in there. Can you splat throw a little of the rice flour in there? Like the equivalent of about a half a cup. <gasps> you know what I didn't put in here either? Thai basil. Yeah. One more. That's good. What's the high base one? Uh, it's <laughs> it's fresh. Oh, so just basil. Ah. Athletic. Yes, cauliflower cake. It's in the oven. It's going to be so zany. It's not even funny. It is not like any. You know what it looks like? It almost like cauliflower focaccia. I mean, I could focaccia. Is it a dessert? No, it's no. It's um. It's actually. It's almost like a. It's like a savory side item. And it, it doesn't exactly go with Thai meatballs, but that's just what I wanted to do tonight. So that's what you get. Okay, guys. So here's what I'm going to do. Gotcha. So here's what I'm going to do. By the way, I'm having a problem. Oh. Got it right here. Well, I just, wherever you were looking, I was like, oh, I already got it. Um, oh, it smells so good. This is my Thai basil out of my garden. I'm so excited. I'm having a problem posting pictures onto my LinkedIn, and I'll tell you why. I'm telling you the problem I'm having. This is a Macintosh issue, well, a uh, iPhone issue. So when I take a picture... If I upload something uh, to Facebook, Instagram, do it directly from my phone, no problem. But if I download it to my iMac, okay, and then I try to post it, it po it it my photo downloads as a hike hike h i i c photo, right? Well, then there's a way that you can change it. So you change it to a PNG. Well, I do do that, and then. I do do it. <laughs> I do do. <laughs> so, but the problem is that when I go to post it to LinkedIn, it, for whatever reason, it won't pull the PNJ, peanut butter and jelly. Well, <laughs> no, the PNJ. I don't know what it does. It was doing it for a long time. I was doing it, but all of a sudden one day I decided I didn't want to do it anymore. I don't know what's wrong, but I'm very frustrated because I haven't been able to post anything on LinkedIn. Not that, you know. Life is not too devastating, but, you know, it's semi-devastating. 
Ooh, that smells so good, that Thai basil. Now listen, don't ever substitute Thai basil for basil. Because that's like, they're like night and day. Yeah, oh God, yeah, no. And as a matter of fact, I, I was a little salty with the uh, local. Are you making Thai meatballs? <laughs> She's good, your chef mama. She's good. Check these meatballs out, mama. These are what I call a good old fashioned Thai meatball. Thai meatball. All right, so. Oh, I hear kitty cat. So, this is what we're gonna do. Put a little aluminum foil. Then I'm going to use my cookie. Oh, pull everything forward or backwards. It's like a hot mess. Hot mess. Hot mess express. Ooh, that's what I should change the show to be called. Hot mess express. Ouch, that's <laughs> hot. Yes. Hot mess express. I like that. If I ever have a chain of restaurants, that's what I'm going to call them. Hot, Hot Mess Express. Hot Mess Express. <laughs> if your food looks messy, it's a hot mess. But it's okay. It would be like... <laughs> the catchphrase could be <laughs> making every health inspector... <laughs> making every health inspector cringe. <laughs> Now that's completely resigned to KFC. <laughs> like I said, that's the hot mess express. <laughs> that's why we like it. Best food is a hot mess, right? All right, that's all I'm gonna make for the moment. Cause I don't know about this, man. You know, one other thing I wish I would have done and added to this is lime zest. But I kind of forgot, but I'm going to put the lime zest in the peanut butter sauce that I'm making to go with this. It's going to be a very spicy peanut sauce, just saying. Very or kind of very? Kind of very. I like that kind of very. <laughs> like pregnant <laughs> kind of very <laughs> oh mr. crepe yourself thank you for your lovely emotes it is so time for me to come up with my own emotes y'all it is long past. that's what I'm gonna do for my you know what that is my goal please y'all listen to me my goal this year for my two-year anniversary is to have the naughty and nice emotes I've always said I was gonna have available for purchase on July the 14th this year. That's my two year anniversary this year. That's my goal. Is that yep, July 14th, best deal day. We're gonna do a very special celebration that day. And I mean, things are going to get C-R-A-Z-Y that day. What's that? <clears throat> okay, y'all. Thai meatballs into the oven. Oh my. Y'all, check out these funky, cool cauliflower cakes. What? Well, what I'm going to do is just pull this out to see it. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. There's no camera angle for that. Seriously? Yeah, we don't show your phone. All right, all right. 
Well, here's how they're looking. They're puffing up, is what's so cool. Ooh. Yeah, isn't that cool? They're it's actually looking really cool. Interesting. They're almost like, like frittatas, kind of. Frittatas. These are cauliflower frittatas. Cauliflower frittatas. All right, I'm going to put the, um, I don't know why, but eight, eight minutes sounds like a magic number. Oh. <sighs> okay, guys, I am going to take a two-minute BRB to clean off my counter so I can make the peanut sauce and have room to pull out the goodies when they're done. Okay, give me two minutes.
guys who came back for some more. We are cooking so much good stuff today. So I am so happy. All right, here we go. All right, I'm gonna do a little garlic, garlic, garlic. All right, so if you're making this recipe at home, you want to use a good sugar-free peanut butter. Or if you're allergic to peanuts and you will die, don't use peanut butter. Use cashew butter, which is, by the way, delicious. And have I mentioned to you guys before that cashews are not a nut at all? They're a seed, an apple seed. They grew wow. from an apple, yeah, an apple tree. Yes, in no. Iraq. No, I swear to God, go look it up if you don't believe me. You learn something every week, don't you? Nope. Cashews are from an apple. Yes, yes. Go look it up, but you don't believe me, people. I can't. I can't cashew. You can't catch up with me. Hey, I could use a whisk. A whisk? Yes, a whisk. whisk. Y'all, I just love peanut butter. I can't get enough peanut butter. Mmm. It doesn't get any worse. <laughs> I mean, better. <laughs> also we just opened the last jar of apple butter are you serious oh did it make you cry you should put the baby in there <laughs> you got a baby in there i mean my old music Then, aye, aye, aye. All right, once again, <laughs> I'm going to use a little ginger, a little peanut butter, a little garlic, some lime. I'm not going to make anybody go back out to the shop to get a lime zester. I'm just going to put lime juice. Does he? <laughs> Do you know where it is? It's, um, it has a, I think it's a, it I think it's hanging up on the red cork board. Just, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, seriously, the grater, cheese grater. Oh my gosh. When I go get a pedicure, I tell them right away, don't put that cheese grater near my feet. And thank God my feet are not that bad, so. <laughs> Watch. A little garlic. I can't stand it. It hurts. I scream. Honestly, I don't even know why people say pedicures are supposed to be very helpful. They're not helpful. They're awful. I mean, they they make your feet look better, but they are not relaxing. They are not enjoyable. I don't know how people get that idea. Gosh, I hate pedicures. I mean, not pedicures. Pedicures. <laughs> she doesn't like those either, though. <laughs> but since we're on the subject, no, I'm just kidding. Mama's hot. No, your hat. Oh. Thank you. Uh oh. You, you need to have like a noise that goes wah, wah, like an alarm. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. <laughs> that'll work. All right, so now, oh my gosh, that literally has no juice. All right, three drops. Have you ever seen less juice in a lime, ever? Well, the biggest thing is you don't buy old ones. These are pretty old. Let's see if this one works any better. Okay. Seriously? 
songs are these? Have you heard it yet? No. I guess I will. I really want you to do it so I can step in. Now, guys, I want this peanut sauce to have some kick. So, I have two choices for this peanut sauce. What do you guys think? Should I choose sriracha or should I choose the green dragon? The green dragon or the sriracha? The green dragon? It's got jalapeno. The sriracha is a little... Uh-oh, we're having a fight. Smell it. It smell it. It's actually really good. Just keep with the green theme. It's green. Okay. am I forgetting in the sauce? I know I gotta have coconut milk. Oh, I need something sweet. My girl, my girl, talking about my girl, my girl. Ooh. I do have the, you know what I've got? I think I've got the sugar and the raw, not the sugar and the raw, the, um, you know the um, the syrup, the maple syrup. You know what I'm talking about? The maple syrup that's not maple syrup? I think I have your, your name for the meatballs. Oh, yeah? Shmeatballs? Spicy meatball! Spicy Thai meatball! <laughs> you, um, we made you duck and cover Now, what are we doing? Oh, here we go. All right, here we go. Okay, just need something sweet. Me? Not you. All right, and a little coconut milk. Oh, and I guess I should warm it. Oh, gosh, I need to check on my little cakes, too, guys. Should we make another shake? Yes. <laughs> Does he even know what he's looking for? I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably standing outside. What did you send me for? All right, this is my spicy Thai sauce. Mmm, mm, mm, that's actually really good. Oh, there's the kick. <laughs> <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> All right, I think my uh, my cauliflower cakes are done, guys. The only thing they need is perhaps just a little bit of maple syrup or whatever. Yeah, that's exactly what. All right, we're doing a little keto one. So we've got our little Lacanto maple syrup. Little look ah! ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's going to be good. Oh, what, are you going to blow my head off? So good, guys. That is some good stuff. This is 
gonna be one that's by the meatball. All right, so I'm gonna take a little meatball, run him through the sauce, <laughs> and I'm gonna try him so that you guys know how delicious he is. Well, I'm not gonna put on anything like that. All right, we need a very colorful plate for one of these and a little colorful bowl for, nah, just use it back here. And then a colorful bowl for the Thai meatballs. Mmm, oh man, y'all. I'm gonna have to go back and watch this episode to remember what I did. <laughs> mm. Oh my word. <laughs> Woo! Oh, I am so good. Okay, I'm gonna plate this up. Take a picture. Yummy, 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 I got love in my tongue. Top or put them in and then put them in. loving these meatballs. This may new, be like a new appetizer on my business. Yes, I have a catering business. And I would love to cater your the event this summer. Oops, I did it again. Stop. That one had a thing on it. That's not. You want to do yours? No. Yours? Clean it up. <laughs> Clean it up. That's what she said. Okay, how about that? Do you like it too much? Put it on the side. I like it. Okay, now. Can I get one of these out? That is what we're going to does she need a springform pan? I have a theory. Now, I could be wrong about my theory, but I have a feeling. I got a feeling that I can just plop this out. Now, I could be wrong. We're going to find out. Check that out, so I got all those seeds and everything. Perfecto. Perfecto mento, guys. We have as a cauliflower cake. Looks deliciosa. And the Thai meatballs tonight. 
so that is our amazing dinner tonight and i am so glad mom what is up mr whirly we thought you were dead darling what do you think of this cauliflower cake yummy and these thai meatballs so yummy we wish you were here we would give you a big hug and drink all your bourbon just kidding but not really but not really maybe a little all right all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me now tonight. I will see you Thursday morning. We'll be making a hummingbird cake for Mr. Sweet Tea. Good night, guys. Thank you, Whirly. Hope to see you soon.